Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And this time we're going to be reacting to Battlestar Galactica Season 2 Episode 17 called The Captain's Hand. Um, recap. In the last one we had a hostage situation um, where a bunch... It was a lady basically, she had lost her husband um, and she wanted... She essentially wanted Sharon so she could kill her mm. um, because... It came out in the fleet that Adama is colluding or basically being influenced by a Cylon. Um, so she takes a, a bar, an entire bar hostage with, with some of her family members. Um, we've got Billy in there, we've got Dee, Apollo and Ellen, basically. Um, and Starbuck is tasked to have a look at what's going on in there. She yeah, because she's on Cloud9 as well. Cloud she's nine? on Cloud9 as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she ends up shooting Apollo in by completely by mistake, but it was just a lot of there was a lot of firing going on, and she mm. she kind of shoots him. The situation gets worse, and Adama decides to give up Sharon, but instead he gives them the boomer that we had in the morgue, yeah. um, which they did actually figure out that it was it was obviously it's gonna it's gonna have like the scars and everything all over the body. Um, and in the end, uh, they ended up storming the place and, and practically just killing everyone. Um, but Apollo's still, he's in ICU in this one, but we lost Billy because he- We did lose Billy. Steps in front. Yeah. Well, no, he steps in front, he tries to take a gun. I don't know he if takes a gun. Billy didn't step in in that situation, would it have resolved itself or did he? Well, this is the thing. I don't know, I don't know if, he was the one person that we thought we wouldn't lose um, yeah. because uh, he did he did actually propose to D, but he didn't actually ask her the question, just gave her the ring and was like, I want you to have oh, this jokes, yeah. Um Which is weird because at the end of the episode, obviously he's dead. Uh, D kind of sits by Apollo's bed um, and Starbuck kind of just looks on from the distance mm, and she kind of walks off kind of thing. With guilt, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it was quite a tense episode, in all. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I did get, I got the, I was talking about Dana Delaney, the actress. I got it, I got it wrong. She wasn't in the Batman animated series. She was in Superman, the animated series, and she played Lois Lane. That's what it was. Um, but yeah, uh, that was a crazy episode, kind of away from the whole battle part of it, and it was just controlled in that in that one um, bar. Um, so let's see what happens in this episode. Um, season 2, episode 17, The Captain's Hand. Let's check it out. Raptor training exercise. God, that Pegasus looks like a beast. Be advised, location will suffer sporadic interruptions due to stellar EMI activity. Acknowledge. Pegasus, buster, acknowledge. Oh, wow, we get to see a whole new crew. Are you ready to go into the belly of the beast? The beast? Yeah. That's what they call the Pegasus now. Galactic is the bucket. The, the bucket and the beast. <laughs> Why the old man pick you? One word, Starbuck. Apparently she's been driving Commander Garner up one bulkhead and down the other ever since she took over flight training on. So she's over there. Yeah. Were you gonna mention these? Oh yeah, got promoted to Major. Okay. Oh nice. Major Leodama. We looked inside and we saw that something was moving. Uh oh. Did you call it in? Yeah, we something shut the door was and moving. the are on their way. Is it a Velociraptor? Because I've seen that movie. That's oh, a person. Is it a kid? Do you think it's a nope. kid? It looks like a kid. Mm, maybe? No, it's an adult. Mm, who are you? It's a woman. Are you Dr. Coddle? No. Oh, she's. Oh, she's pregnant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Step. Bearing. Shark Can't hit anything. Last. Did you declare an emergency? Why would they do a a training exercise in a storm like that? Did you declare an emergency? Hey, I, I know this guy. Where's he from? He's um, Kevin McAllister's dad in Home Alone. That's the only I remember it. him from. That's it. Awesome, sir. Oh shit. What is out there? Then if they're still alive, they need to make their way back. What was that? I saw something there. 
was not the Pegasus. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have just lost contact with two of our Raptors out on a training mission. What? When did that happen? Captain Thrace, perhaps if you were actually down on the flight deck and monitoring your Raptors the way any training officer worth a damn would have done, you would know that four of our pilots were missing. Damn. We lose two Raptors in a training mission, and I only find out when the commander throws it in my face. Well, why weren't you on the flight deck? Sir, it's been made clear that discussing flight deck situations with anyone outside Pegasus crew is not allowed. Uh, oh. They're still doing the Galactica Pegasus thing. It was Garner, wasn't it? So barely competent and paranoid. Huh. I don't get it. Yeah, why would you not? Why would you then have a would go at why him? would you have a go at her and then do that uh, Pegasus only thing? I should cut her some slack because she's good in the cockpit, is that what you're saying? Maybe be because reasonable. Because nobody ever cut us any slack in the engine room. I can tell you that right now. The engine room is like a finely tuned watch, and everything in it needs to be monitored and maintained in a very precise fashion. Nobody freelances. This guy's not right for the job, I can tell you straight away. Well, he's organized, but he needs to have some sort of wiggle room, like some sort of yeah. flexibility, which he doesn't have. Let's talk politics. Is she the new... Great. Billy. Billy. Here are the results from our first fleet-wide I think pool. so. It helps when your only real rival is a convicted terrorist. <laughs> Zarek. Am I yeah. capable Here. of leading this fleet? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> That's like, who's he speaking to? The truth is, I can't win. I agree. But you could. Oh, oh God. Yeah. I was going to say, we haven't seen him in a while. You'd be surprised how many people crave the assurances of cold science as opposed to the superstitious ravings of the Geminis. Oh, is that how they're going to present it? Science yeah. versus religion kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm just happy to back a man of true conviction. Must the catch here, Zarek. Yeah, with Zarek, there's always something. Who remembers his friends? Okay, you scratch my back, I scratch yours kind of That's thing. Good, yeah. We got two missing Raptor crews who are going to be out of oxygen in 36 hours. That's all that matters. Damn, that's not long at all. I want to know everything there is to know about these missing Raptors and their crews. I want to know personal quirks, aircraft squad. I'm starting to think that nothing's actually wrong with them, help. just the electronics got knocked out by the storm. Does it seem That's to be in any real thinking. danger? Also, wouldn't you send, if you know kind of where they were, wouldn't you send another ship out? To the last known location? Yeah. How is she? They're not doing Raya's it. Raya's four months pregnant and doesn't want to be. I understand the Geminis have a problem with women terminating their pregnancies. Oh. My parents, do you have any idea what they would do to me? What? Please, do not send me back. I didn't think it was that backward on the Gemini. Uh, no, in, in the fleet, I didn't. Of political persecution. Hell, she could apply for asylum. Is it that bad? You'd have to apply for asylum. <laughs> you weren't meant to say that. Yeah. Just let him talk to her. <laughs> asylum. That's it. I want asylum. <laughs> well done, Cottle. He's <laughs> probably thinking, shit, man, I could have been smoking a cigarette. It's, it's interesting because why is this, a, why is this, what is the story here? Obviously, apart from that, she was a terminator, but why, why? The scriptures view abortion as an abomination in the eyes of the gods. You cannot equivocate on this point. If yeah, you want this, this, religion. this episode is science versus religion. The thing is because they believe her to be the black of the prophet. From the prophecy, this might shake. Like, they might shake the voters' yeah. confidence in her a bit as well. Like, hang on, aren't you supposed to be? I'm not turning that girl over. I'm certainly not banning abortion. Yeah, I don't think you would. What I want to know is how bad would it get for her if she went back? I'd also like to know how she got pregnant. Like, where's her? Where's the guy? Mm. The fact is that that number doesn't go up very often. That's a true point, but then, like you said, you need to know about the uh, you need to know about the father and the, the, the that story whole situation. Him. Yeah. Want to save the human race? We better start having babies. But it should also be a choice. Yeah, not 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 by force <laughs> yeah, or any other. Yeah, you don't want to make cattle. Yeah. Bearing wreck shuns emerge. Emerge could be emergency. Mercy. 
Received? Could be. Received. Received distress call. So they may be, may be chasing someone else, or I'm not chasing. Confused. Why would we just take Pegasus out of this orbit and... When you're not boozing or sowing mutiny amongst the crew. Mutiny. Commander, we should take this to a private place. Don't you think I know what's happening on my own ship? You don't. Barely competent and paranoid. Oh crap, he does. Oh <laughs> shit, that's exactly off the record. I was just venting. Oh, they're snitching, man. They're, everyone's snitching. This is, like you said, it's Pegasus versus Galactica here. Everyone's just. How's it feel being Garner's new playmate? I'm here to do a job. Yeah, keep a loud mouth, disobedient frack of Karath race in line. Nah, he's just trying to keep the peace, man. All I've gotten is Garner's foot in my ass. Well, maybe you need a kick in the ass. Pollo. All right. Do you think he's pissed about the bullet? I, I was, yeah, I thought I was going to say it's finally going to come out. Anyway? What's my problem? <laughs> you shot me? <laughs> well, Kara, my problem is you. You keep fracking up, and I keep having to clean it up, and I am officially sick of it. Sure. Your life is so hard, isn't it? You mean since I got shot? There we go. <laughs> Oh shit. The gods. They're well, suffocating. Okay. There's a theory that Buster himself might have jumped away to run down a phony distress call. It could be a trap. Ooh. Yeah. This is Captain Thrace's theory, is it not? It could be it could be bait though. Could, yeah. Spin up the FPL drive and prepare to jump the ship. This isn't just Captain Thrace's theory. I think this is a Cylon trap, and... And I disagree. I know I did say they should jump the ship, but... If it does feel like... It does feel like a trap. Cylons have been known to lure our ships into traps using fake distressed calls. Have we considered that? We have, sir. It's a scenario we don't think likely. I don't think likely, not we. Captain Thrace and I are of the opinion that the first two raptors may very well have been lured away by just such a trick. Well down, Apollo. Five raptors. Three escort, two rescue. You have your orders, Commander. He's going to be pissed at Lee now. He's going to jump and he, he's just going to jump anyway. Thank you, Major. I'm sure your expertise is needed elsewhere. Ooh. An issue has emerged that may prove divisive to our administration. I would like all the facts in hand before making my decision. So now it's our administration? Oh, hello, Six. If we continue on our present course, Within the next 18 years, the human race will simply be extinct. I don't know if he's being truthful. If the civilization is to survive, we must, must repopulate this fleet. Oh, Therefore, I'm issuing an executive order. Laura. This day forward, anyone seeking to interfere with the birth of a child shall be subject to criminal penalty. <laughs> Bloody hell. This is going to go bad. What's going on? We've been ordered to scramble condition one. Ship's getting ready to jump. We're going to launch on the other side. I told you he's going to jump anyway. We should send a force recon. My pilots are dying down there, Major. I'm going in. I'm not waiting on recon. I kind of see his side as well, because it's his men. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, that's why I said he should just jump. Heart, sir, Major. Oh, damn. Place you under arrest. I mean, he's going against the Admiral, so technically, he's going to take the Commander. Major, you'll come with me. Oh, damn, okay, I was wrong. Oh, damn, okay. <laughs> I tell you, this ship is brilliant. <laughs> it's, it's... What, the Pegasus? Yeah, it's just... They just have their own way of doing things. I show two Raptors. Transponder codes match. They're ours. Mr. Hoshi. Fill the keg and launch our recovery team and let's bring our people home. Oh nice, we have him. That was easy. Oh shit, they're dead. How? They cracked their head against something? Dunno. Oh, oh damn. shit. There you go. Three, Cylon base ships to jump into weapons range. Three base ships. Oh Mate, my god. Get out of there. Let's go. Just... Bounce, bounce, bounce. FTL drive an operative, sir. We're oh, here, sir. Everything. Oh my god, they're actually stuck. You're gonna have to start fighting back. Yeah. Take over, man. Look at him in the. 
Look at him in the background. He's like panicking. Yeah. Just pull it, pull it. Why don't you go down to the engine room and we'll take over from here? I need to go down there. Yeah, he's gonna have to. Yeah, yeah, because he's he's a control freak. He's an engineer. Just go. You have the con. There we go. Inevitable. I have the con. <laughs> okay, maybe okay. he looks a little panicky now as well. <laughs> like, well he probably never had that. <laughs> yeah. Like in the middle of battle as well. Fire. Well, they're not firing back before. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wow. Look at that, though. It's a powerful ship. This is what I don't understand. That breach can vent all our oxygen into space. We don't have a choice. Now open the hatch. I don't think um he's going to make... We might lose him here. He's lo yeah, we're losing him. I mean, it's almost certain. But it's kind of like he'll do it saving the ship. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's admirable in its own right. Yeah. On to the next one. Oh, nice. I was going to say, can't put something in front of the, the breach, but I don't know. Yeah, he needs something, though. Oh, two, this is the red skipper. You're almost out of air. God, is not making it. Apollo. Oh, we did it. Nice, but I... You got it! The purge is coming back! I was going up, Let's okay. But the, the oxygen... He's gone, isn't it? Yeah, he's gone. Yeah. Well, he died valiantly. Yeah. Like you said, he died saving the ship. But he, did, he was uh, like he, he was in the engine room, wasn't he? He got promoted from there, so... Yeah. Nobody behind me but toasters. That's a weird upside down thing. I know. Jump. I was going to say, can they land like both? Both ways on the thing. I think that might be just the camera angle. <laughs> oh, but... You give Garner a lot of credit. He did That's a lot. True. He did a lot, man. He gave his life to save the ship. He did. What was Garner's flaw? He was the wrong man for the job. He was used to working with machines. Yeah. Mm. Command is about people. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of your fault, Adama. Because it was you that put him in that position. Well, he... He thought he was the right person. He's done that twice now. He's employed the wrong CAG at one point, and he's employed the wrong... Oh, he's giving it to Adama. Garner was my decision. His failures, my responsibility. I agree with that. Don't let me fail a second time. Oh, wow. I mean, they do need a Galactica person on that ship, it seems. And he's, uh, he's shown he's a good commander. Yeah. In the middle of battle. He did that in the middle of battle. Well done, Apollo. Wow, we kind of earned that. Commander. Commander. That's mad. It's jokes. He was like, we got uh, recently promoted to major. Now he's his own from, ship. From a pilot to commander. You do not intend to prosecute the Jiminy's girl on Galactica. What more do you want? She's just been through an abortion. I've granted her asylum aboard Galactica. This is in total violation. Hang on. Okay. My order came after she sought her procedure. No laws have been broken. You... Was it though? She lied there. She hadn't had the procedure yet, I don't think. Congratulations. Really? Congratulations. Ah, look at you being formal. Ah. Your decision to criminalize abortion has created a furor. Do you think that's hurt your standing in the polls? Yes. Absolutely. If I may, Madam President, the decision has been made with good faith. I love how guys took over there. I, mm. however, cannot with good conscience support it. And so I'll stand against her in the poll, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Every time we restrict or curtail one of our rights, we become one step closer to being like them. It's genius. It's absolutely genius. Announce that I am, as of now, a candidate for the presidency. Look at that! She's just sitting there thinking, I just can't catch a break with this, can I? I bet you that report he gave her was bullshit. Absolute yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I think he's going to do well as well. He's so good at speaking. 
public speaking. Okay, enough of this slow clap, man. You're not Chang. <laughs> and that's the end of the episode. Thoughts? I was I was thinking like with obviously we haven't seen Gaius properly for a bit, and then it's like he has changed slightly, but it as in not 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 in a not like not crazy, but as in like he, but do you remember before he didn't want to be president, he was trying to get out of it and do whatever he can. Yeah. But in a way it's I think after having that conversation with Gina and obviously on being on the Pegasus and whatever. It's changed him somehow. Uh, and then bit. after having the conversation with Laura, um, like him, her saying resign, and he's like, no, I, yeah. I didn't want to do this, but now yeah. I, don't, I, want it, yeah. I want it to be, I don't want to do anything else kind of thing. And yeah, then yeah. obviously he had Six talking to him about being like the Candace, and then obviously talking with Zarek, and it's just, it's propelled him forward even further. Yeah. Um, I think he's going to do well. Like I think this is going like to be a proper said. battle political battle it will be yeah 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 but i think like you said it's it could be that the report that he gave wasn't entirely true or i, def you know, I definitely um, think it wasn't it wasn't i think he was bullshitting and be perfect bullshit as well because he gets yeah. to like move her manipulate, to, manipulate her to go her. that way and then he can easily go the other way um yeah i was gonna say in the middle of like you know he's running against you but he wouldn't know because he hasn't publicly announced announced it yeah yeah um, it was just a conversation that he had with with Zarek. Um, the Pegasus. It's an interesting. It's an interesting ship. So technically, they've lost three commanders in very very short succession. Yeah. Um. I think Apollo will do well. But I think it was weird that we never had someone from Galactica go over there and step in to kind of be like the commander kind of thing. I think that was the that was the weird part. Yeah. Now we obviously have our, one of our own going over there. And his jokes that they call it the bucket and the beast. That's quite. Yeah. That I don't know why. Why well, I don't know why the Galactica is bucket though. Because it's an old ship, whereas the. <sighs> oh, okay. All right. Okay, that makes sense now. Oh yeah, I forgot. Whereas Pegasus the... is much more kitted up. It's much more newer. Yeah, yeah, that's why it looks the way it does. It looks a lot more beefier and it doesn't need as many people to, to run the ship I itself. Forgot that. I forgot a lot, lot of the parts to upgrade it have been jacked from like other ships. Remember? Well, yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Frankenstein ship. But the... Yeah, the 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 commanding officers that, that they had, he was good. The... But he was not... It wasn't, was it wasn't his job, it wasn't his job to, it was the wrong decision for, um, the wrong Adama decision to Adama to make, to put Ghana in that role. He was the wrong mm. person for the job. The same way, um, I was I said earlier that he put that other guy who was loyal as CAG. Do you remember ages ago? Yeah, yeah, um, with, um, yeah. To yeah, replace know, Apollo, to replace yeah. Apollo, but I can't remember his name either. And his only defining trait as a CAG or as a uh, crew member was that he was loyal. It doesn't really do much yeah, as, as a yeah. CAG. Um, so whilst he was good at what he does, it's just wrong for the job. Um, and um, it was bound to go that way. He was very meticulous and I suppose as an engineer or whatever his title was, I can't remember, you have to be, but it doesn't work well when you have to manage people which is what you have to do as a commander mm. um i think i think apollo in the in the background this entire season he's just had so far it's just been ups and downs first he didn't want to be alive then he <laughs> not be alive but he's like contemplating life and then he's just slowly slowly been put in charge of like mini projects and he's always prevailed you know with and, black market with yeah. You know, with other bits and pieces like so he's always he's always i mean despite being shot in the last one which didn't really too much but it was his idea with the co2 thing but i think yeah i think he's i think he's the right, he's the right person it's still crazy also, though that he's a commander of a of a major ship oh, yeah it's, it's it's still mad because he was a pilot but then also it's kind of like realistically who else is there because you're not going to give it to Starbuck. I wouldn't there give it no to else. anyone lower that level below 
I would give True. it to someone who has had experience. I mean, I suppose Apollo is the correct person because he's been CAG before, so he's had he's had to manage people. He's been in yeah. situations um, where you have to think on the spot. So that's yeah another thing that would help. Um, uh, he knows the like the how the stuff works, especially in the CI. Well, actually, that was the first time he's actually been in the CIC doing stuff calling out commands he hasn't really done that kind of stuff Pegasus before on Peg yeah, but I mean, that's, that'll come naturally i guess yeah true it'll pick stuff up quite quickly i would have thought the, the best thing is person also, go on also the thing is it's we probably get to see more of pegasus true i thought the best person would be somewhere i like who was the previous xo jack okay can't be jack who was jack's xo okay no jack's xo oh, so I don't know. I don't think he. That's the thing. I, I don't, thought we should shot. always go to the XO. The thing is, you like you don't want you don't want someone like Soul on that ship. Yeah, no, do you know what me. it is? I think I think the other thing is with Pegasus because they are very. They are right. Galactic is a bit more relaxed. They're not relaxed, but it's a bit more. It's not as militarized or it's not as strict as yeah. Pegasus. Pegasus is. It seems very by the book no 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 you're thinking of Kane's Pegasus no, no no that's what I mean that's what, that's what we've seen so yeah. like it, you know, it's kind of it would be good to see a different direction yeah but I, I don't think they've been like that since she's been gone I don't think they've been I think they've been all over the place since she's been gone probably um, probably I and also Sol not being in charge I, we have had instances where we we're like okay he's not cut out for this but that whole situation when that raiding party was landing mm. He did well in that. Like, so there are moments where he, he did, but he does make good decisions. It's just that he doesn't want to do it. He's he doesn't like, want it. Yeah. He doesn't want that's, to do it kind of thing. But yeah. still. Um, but this was a good episode. Um Father and Son taking her each helm. Um, yeah, good episode. Uh let us know your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of the episode? and our reaction to it. But other than that, please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.